Hello, my name is Sam. I'm from usephotoshop.com, a free tutorial, template, and photo resource. In this video, I'm going to help you understand the healing brush tool in Adobe Photoshop. I'm running the most current version at this time, Photoshop CS5. If you don't already have an image open, go to File, New to create a new file, or go to File, Open to open an existing photo from your hard drive. You can also use the keyboard shortcut, which is Control and the letter O on your keyboard. To find the tool, go to Window, Tools to up, open up the Tools window or the Tools palette. It's fourth from the top on the left hand side and may be hiding behind the Spot Healing Brush tool, the Patch tool, or the Red Eye tool. If it is, simply left click on that icon and hold down with your mouse. You will see this menu appear and you can select the Healing Brush tool. The keyboard shortcut for the Healing Brush tool is J, meaning if we're using another tool and we want to use the Spot Healing Brush tool, simply by hitting the letter J on my keyboard, I will be taken back to that tool. Now you should always remember to uh, have the Layers uh, window or the Layers palette open by going to Window Layers or by hitting F7 on your keyboard. Select the photo you're working on so it will let you work on it. You will see my cursor has now changed to a circle and I can zoom in on this photo using the keyboard shortcut by holding down Control and pressing plus and I can also zoom out by holding down control and pressing the minus button. Now that I'm zoom in and zoomed in I can select a point which uh, Photoshop will uh, source the repair from by holding down alt and clicking with my mouse on a clean piece of skin. I can go up here it will show me what uh, it's going to overlay I can click and paint that over. It shows me below where my source is so I can make sure I keep it on clean skin. And there we go. Once I'm happy with my selection, I'll let go with my cursor. Photoshop will apply that. And not bad. We can still edit this a bit by going to Image, or actually go to Edit, Fade Healing Brush, or on your keyboard, hold down Control, Shift, and the letter F. It will open up that window, and you can change the opacity of the. Uh, you can change the opacity of the overlay that you just made with the healing brush tool. I find to keep some of the original texture um, normally around 60 or 70 is best. There's the finished product, so there's the after, and there's the before. There's the before, and there's the after. That's the Spot Healing Brush Tool in Adobe Photoshop. I'm Sam from usephotoshop.com.